okay so uh, like I said I'm gonna use that steel that steel blade I'm gonna put that back on flip, flip it upside down put it back on then put the rubber on then put a steel strip in the front now my buddy got me a steel strip from a uh, steel yard and uh, they punched holes in it and it's it's actually pretty good it's kind of thick it's kind of heavy so I don't know if I want to use it. It, it it's definitely heavy duty it'll definitely work but I'm thinking it adds a lot of weight maybe too much weight for the old hydraulic so I talked to a plumber a plumbing shop in my area and they said they'd be able to cut me a piece to fit not as thick and he said only 30 bucks you know. so I'm gonna check that out I should have went out there last year and got it while I know they were open I'm hoping they're still open so okay so let's clean this up I'm gonna try a uh, wire brush on it. Just gotta clean it up. goof off
Okay, so I used the flap disc. It's one of them little wheels that go on your grinder. It looks like a bunch of little pieces of sanding paper. To clean up the, the steel edge. Clean all the rust off of it front and back. I spent about probably an hour doing that. The front side was in pretty good shape, but the back side was rusty and uh, it had that black coating stuff on it. Lots of the plow came with that black coating, it's like a plastic finish. So I grinded that all off right down to the bare metal. Now I'll paint it with the uh, rust reformer paint. Now I'll paint it with rust reformer paint, it's supposed to kill the rust. I have the rust reformer in a liquid, but uh, it's getting late, it's going to be dark here in a half hour. And it's supposed to rain all week, so I'm, I don't feel like fooling around with it, I'm, I'm just going to spray it. It's got to be more than 50 pounds. It's probably 80 pounds. Okay, so it's uh, next day. Uh, I ended up sanding and uh, rust proofing for a few hours. I used a uh, rust reformer, the liquid. Back. This here will move. So, see how I stuck some 2x4s back in here? Stuck some pieces of 2x4 so I could get back behind it. That bottom blade there. This bottom blade here behind the plow, that's what really needed to be uh, rust proofed. It was really rusty. That was the only part I couldn't get to. Plus, since this will move out a little bit, since the cutting edge is not on, I was able to get behind here. A little bit of black paint on here won't hurt nothing. So now that it's morning and there's light, I can actually see what was going on. See, there's some, there's some of this stuff here. See this stuff here. So I can get at that now. Okay. So that's what I'm working on now. It's supposed to start raining here in a minute. So I uh, thought I'd get the camera out before it starts to rain. <coughs> I was able to get underneath to never get underneath it because it was always too low to the ground. Okay, so pretty cool. Okay, back to work here. Hi, Penny. Hi, 
Hi, Penny, what are you doing? You're all wet. Why don't you go back in? You're all wet. Okay. I'm uh, checking out the rubber. I need to know what side bolt. Uh, I picked these up at uh, Tractor Supply. They're only grade 5. Those markings there on the bottom tell what grade it is. There's charts on the web. So, uh, I read on one website that sells plow stuff, they said use grade 8. So, uh, I need to know what size so I can order them on Amazon. My local tractor supply was out. Donut figure. So, uh, I I bought a bunch of these. I was going to use the. Uh, I was going to use these. I bought these off uh, eBay a few years ago. They're three inch, but I don't think they're long enough. See, these are four inch. These are three inch. Then I was going to use the nuts that come with them. These nuts have the plastic inserts called lock nuts. These nuts came with these. These are actually Meyer bolts. Here's the number. So, uh, you yeah. know, I got them cheap, you know, like 10, 12 bucks. But these are just regular nuts. They aren't high strength. I'm, I'm really surprised. So I was looking around Amazon, and Amazon has grade 8 nuts. Grade 8 bolts. So that's what I... So that's what I want to order. Just got to figure out what size. I know these are too short. I'm hoping the four inches will work. I think the five inch will be way too long. So uh, that's what I'm doing today. I'm, I, I built a ramp there. Or I built a couple stands there. Just threw some wood on top there. So I don't have to work on the ground. And then let's see if I can get the rubber there. I think I'll have to clamp it, flatten it out. It's been rolled up for two. It's been rolled up for two years. So we'll see how it goes here. Okay, so uh, these, that's like two and a half inches here, so these holes are too close to the board, i got to raise it up a little bit.
course, the uh, board goes down like this. So I should probably build this side up a little bit here. Okay, my uh, my board slanted, so I'm trying to make it level with the bottom of the plow here, so I don't have to lift the rubber. Probably gonna be too high now. Should work. 